Hello, this is Anthony Diulio with American Underwater Services. I'm here with Marty Pierce. Uh, we are going to um, inspect and probe a pond. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of watch him walk around. Uh, obviously, he does this by himself, or we'll have others do this by themselves. Uh, in a nutshell, we're here to um, we're here to basically probe a pond to see how much material is in it. We're comparing it to the year before, two years ago that we did this pond. They want to verify how much material is in it now, like all the storms that we've had, all the rain that we've had and everything's like all those types of things that go on. It brings in mud and sediment. So one of our services that we offer is uh, inspecting the ponds to see how much mud's in there. And the, basically the way we do it, and that's a pretty aggressive hill. Hopefully he doesn't fall. We'll catch that on video if he does. He's, pretty, he's a little braver than I am. That's for sure. So he'll get uh, get the kayak going. He's got his probe rods inside there that you can't see. These probing rods are basically basically uh, chimney sweep rods that you can get at Lowe's, no big deal. We put one foot increment tape on these chimney rods. These, uh, we call them probe rods. We put one increment tapes on there, one foot increment tapes. And basically what he does is when he probes his pond, he will determine the depth of water. Once the material, once he fills the material on the probe rod, then he'll kind of oscillate the rope probe rod up and down four or five times until it finally gets to the firm bottom. And what he does is he makes a mental note or he writes it down, depends on if he has his little wax board with him. He'll write down exactly how much water depth is in one spot and how much material is in that same spot. Basically, that's what we call probing the pond. We've done it for 20 years. Uh, it's, it is it is try-true method. It works like a champ. There are other companies out there that do probing, that don't do probe, don't, they do not do probing. They do uh, bathymetric surveys with uh, kind of glorified fish finders and things of that nature. They probably do have their place in the world, uh, but honestly, this is the best way to do it. It's just an old school probing the pond, writing down the depth of water and the depth of sediment on a little, on a little, basically making a graph. He, what he did is he gets on Google Earth, he takes an image, he takes that image with him, and he writes up a little grid within the pond and puts points on the paper, depth of water, depth of sediment at this point. And it just keeps going. It just makes a kind of a kind of a grid of the entire body of water, the entire pond, uh, whatever it is. Uh, usually it's a pond, a lagoon, or a lake. But uh, as I was alluding to it a second ago, there are other companies that do these types of things with, uh, well, I call them glorified fish finders. They're basically, uh, they're basically uh, uh, like fish finders. They do a bathymetric survey of the bottom, but they're supposed to do they're supposed to also penetrate through sediment layers as well. What we have found is those types of systems, where they do have their place somewhere, but they do not work very well with these shallow ponds at homeowners associations and golf courses. And those, those types of uh, systems are very expensive and they just don't give you data. The only thing that I've seen, we've been doing this stuff for over 20 years. The only thing that I've seen that those types of systems do is get at the very end of the project where you have some kind of negotiating stuff going on with the customer or the client. And it's just, it's a, I just don't think it's a good product for this type of, uh, this type of uh, uh, survey. So like I said, again, you can see him probing and writing down the information. And once he gets all this done, he will go to the office and he will calculate he will get all those shots, all the depth of sediment. He will average out the mud uh, over the area. And what that will do, he averages out with a little calculator and he'll figure out exactly how much mud, how many cubic yards are within the pond. I mean, we're talking pretty close. I mean, I bet just guessing we're, we're probably within five to 10% plus or minus, as opposed to when you have systems that use these really high end scanning sonar, side scan sonar, bathymetric glorified fish finder systems, those things seem to be really inaccurate. 
Uh, I know there's a lot of good companies that are really pushing the product and they're trying to get that product to work. But I'm telling you right now, this little archaic system that we're doing right here with probing them and writing the numbers down and going to the office and figuring out exactly how much cubic yard is in there, you can't beat that. That is the best way to do it. That way you get a really good proposal. You get a proposal that has the numbers that are accurate of how much mud is actually truly in there as opposed to guesswork. And in addition to that, when we dredge this pond or dredge the ponds, when we fill up our, our dewatering roll-off boxes or dewatering bags or whatever the method, that we're, it method is that we're using, you can actually count the cubic yards that are within those bags or how much it's in those boxes and compare it to what we've done. And I promise you, it is a great process. So he's basically, this is his job today. Um, Marty Pierce has been with us for way over 10 years. He's, uh, 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 he's also part of the family. He's my business partner, Gary Pierce's uh, um, uh, cousin. Um, and he's just, he's just been here a long time and knows everything from the bottom up. He's worked from being out in the field all the way up to, to uh, uh, basically running the estimation department of the, of, the, of the company. And he's doing a wonderful job. And let me see if I can go around here without getting hit by a snake because there's always snakes out here on these things. And I'll come around here, see if we don't get too much sun. So what he's doing now, he's going to concentrate around the fountain. Uh, the fountains usually accumulate a lot of sediment and things like that. We'll clean around that fountain sometimes or oftentimes when customers do not have the money or do not have the funds. But their fountain's acting funny and it's throwing dirt and mud and, and not spraying properly. We will actually come out with the divers and we'll, we'll dredge around. We'll suck out all the mud around, around that fountain, that whole area to kind of clear it out based on their budget. Now, if they have more money, then obviously we can make that area a lot larger around the fountain. But here today, our job truly is just the customer, the client called and basically said, hey, you guys were out here two years ago. Do you mind probing this pond? And, or do you mind checking the pond and seeing how much materials come in this pond since we dredged it? That's a free service that we offer. Uh, uh, if we dredge your pond or do anything like that, we offer that service for free. A matter of fact, even ahead of this project, we, we go out and inspect ponds for free on most jobs. It just depends on where it is. If they're a long ways away, obviously we might throw a little fee in there just for fuel and gas like we just did a bunch of them in uh, uh, Colorado, uh, you know, Utah, Oklahoma. We might throw a little fee, but it's very, very small. Uh, so anyway, so as you, the homeowner or the golf course superintendent or things similar to that, Remember American Underwater Services. This method that we do for probing your pond, for seeing how much mud and material in there, is the preferred method by us. And I'm telling you, we've been doing this longer than almost anybody in the state of Texas, and one of the first purveyors in the United, in the United States doing this. We've been doing this for over 20 years, and we're really good at what we do. We have the right people, we have the right process, and we have the right product. So give us a call, American Underwater Services. We will come out and inspect your pond, uh, more than likely for free, especially if you're in Texas or in the local states. If, we, if another contractor has dredged your pond and you want us to verify what they have done, obviously we would love to assist you in that as well, not to be mean or I got you type of thing. We're very professional. We stay very professional. We will tell you the truth. If there's something that's inaccurate with whatever the information that was given to you guys, we will let you guys know. Uh, and there's, yeah, there's no question about it. We, uh, we have a very good, uh, we have a lot of integrity here at our company. Thank you again. Well, let me pop over here one more time. We'll see Mr. Marty. See, he's got an overflow structure right here. It's just basically dumping water and it's an overflow structure going into the street, but we'll say, hey, Marty, just real quick, uh, hold that probe up so they can see that probe. See, nothing special about it. It's just a fiberglass probe. It has a little red tape on it, and it tells him the depth of water and the depth of sediment. It is, it seems Neanderthalic in ways, but I'm telling you, it is the best way to have your pond inspected. So give us a call. We appreciate your business if you are our current customer. Thank you very much from Anthony DiULio and Marty Pierce at American On Water Services. We'll look forward to seeing you guys soon.
Take care.